can you talk about the challenges of going against a, an offense with uh, Russell Wilson? Yeah, uh, everybody knows Russell Wilson, what he did in the past, and he's still capable of it. So uh, when you got a guy like that that knows the game, is very athletic, got an arm, you could do it all. Uh, you just you got to prep. You got to be at your all-time best with prepping. What would you say was kind of the tone on the trip back on Sunday, and then and then how would you compare where it is today versus right after the game? I think after the game, in the locker room, we were still pissed. I think once we got on the plane and everybody settled down, we all just like normal. Uh, good vibes, really, honestly, because our season's not over. You know, it's still stuff that we could build on. Uh, we're still looking at everything positive. It's just a, another week for us to go out there and prove ourselves to everybody. Patrick, uh, we're going to ask you a couple more about the, the tweet that Sunday John Harbaugh talked Monday about just you know, Twitter's not a good place to be, especially after a loss. Um, is that something that you guys kind of like, think about when, when stuff like this happens? It's like you don't want to engage that kind of activity after after a game like Sunday. Yeah, I mean, uh, it is what it is. I mean, if you get on Twitter, you get on Twitter. If you don't, you don't. Uh, Lamar's situation, whatever Harb said, uh, that's what I stand by. Uh, for me, I just, I, I honestly, I get on Twitter because Twitter got a lot of funny stuff on it, obviously, and stuff. So <laughs> I like to look at funny videos and stuff. But if I see somebody at me, I, like, sometimes I might reply, sometimes I might not. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, half of them don't even know what they're talking about anyway. So it is what it is. How do you feel like you and Roquan are playing in tandem, and do you feel each other kind of feeding off each other? Uh, I mean, I feel like it's going good right now. I uh, feel like we took a step back last week. I feel like we didn't play up to our standard together. Uh, obviously, we're going to get that fixed and corrected, but uh, I feel like it's just the sky's the limit right now. I think we're still learning. Uh, he's still learning the defense and stuff. I think it's just there's so many more steps that we could take, and hopefully we take another step forward this week. Uh, I think the best thing is just for us to keep communicating how we're trying to. Did that uh, LSU loss Saturday stick a little bit sting of the trash talk this week? Nah, everybody, everybody getting on me about the LSU loss, but I, I, all I responded with is I did, I handled my business when I was there. We did what we were supposed to do. <laughs> if you, if you got a ring, okay, cool. If you ain't got no ring, don't talk to me. Still going back to you and Brooke next to each other. Um, you, I mean, you guys sit right next to each other in the locker room too. You're locked right next to each other. How much, you know, is the off the field stuff translate on the field? Oh, uh, yeah, a lot. Uh, I think it's just a comfort level. I think. Uh, especially with the type of guy he is, how he came in, uh, it was just easy to, to mesh with jail with and stuff. So uh, I think everything that we're doing right now is just going to pay dividends to us in the future. I think uh, how hard he studies, how hard he plays. If you watch the film, he runs to the ball every time. Uh, how hard he communicates, everything he does is at 110%. So I think the sky's the limit for us, like I said earlier. He told us on the podcast he can fish a little bit. And I don't know about challenge that. You. I don't know about that. We'll see. He's talking about he going to come to Louisiana this offseason, so we'll see if he can fish. I doubt it, though. <laughs> and Patrick, I mean, you've been part of the pass rush that's been really consistent over the past few games. When you're going against a quarterback like Russell, you can move around a little bit. How important is it to, to get pressure on him and, and also maybe not allow him to get out to it? Yeah, uh, he still got it. I mean, yeah, he's getting older and stuff. He might, might have slowed down a little bit, but he still can move. Like, I don't know, he's just different, dangerous, dangerous, whatever they used to call him. Or, uh, so, I mean, you got to you gotta be on your P's and Q's with this guy. Uh, like I said, he got an arm. He got to run a little bit still. Knows knows our defense, knows uh, his reads, obviously, as a quarterback, all that stuff that quarterbacks do, uh, try to look us off. So we just got to be on our P's and Q's about everything. Like, great quarterback from what I'm still seeing. Uh, so. You're one of the guys that's getting a lot of uh, you know, football votes. Um, is that something that's significant to you and what would it mean to you if that, you know, that continues? Yeah, uh, of course, you know, you don't play the game for the recognition, but uh, Pro Bowl would be nice. Uh, I think my mindset is on bigger things, though, uh, obviously, like all pro stuff like that, Super Bowl, playoffs, all that stuff. So uh, if I get the recognition for it and the nod for it, I'm thankful for it. But at the end of the day, I got bigger goals. All good? Cool. Appreciate y'all. Right. Thanks, Patrick.